Hey guys, I'm Scotty K. Alton with Terrier Vision, and for the first time ever, we've gathered all of the seniors from the men's and women's basketball programs. As much as I would like to introduce everybody, we've got some really great questions planned ahead, so we're just going to jump right into it. So who would like to get us started? This is your last game ever in the Benjamin Johnson Arena. Like, what thoughts are running through your head right now? Eric had a good answer earlier. Um, it's just a lot of different emotions. Uh, it's going to be sad. It's going to be exciting. Um, just because uh, we've had a lot of memories in this gym. Um, I'm sure I can speak for everyone here that uh, it's it's like a second home to all of us. So. So how much have you guys grown since you stepped onto Wofford's campus? Um, for me personally, it's um, been kind of a 180. You know, I've kind of been a natural leader. Um, just playing basketball and stuff. But I think once I got injured, I had to become more of a vocal leader, and my coaches expected that out of me. Um, so I kind of had to learn and figure that thing out. Um, and I think Mosh can kind of say the same thing as well. I would also have to agree, Kentra. I mean, it was, of course, unfortunate that we weren't able to finish the season the way we'd like to. But at the same time, we did have to, you know, grow a lot, um, you know, mentally and, you know, help our team the best way we can. So being vocal has been one of the best things that we could do right now. So. What are some of your guys' like favorite memories on the court or off the court at Wofford? Do you have any? I think um, the locker room in general before the game, after the game, um, even after practice, just hanging out with the team and being together and talking about win winning the game and what we're going to do to win and just celebrating wins after. It's been a great memory. Is there one memory that you guys will take with you when you leave Wofford? or one game, or one practice, or one lesson that you learned? Uh, I think for the men's team, the Sanford game here at home, uh, the four overtime game. Uh, I've been playing college basketball six years now. I've never been a part of a crazier game than that one. Uh, and that's something I think I'll carry with me the rest of my life. I think for the women's team, um, the Western Carolina game, when Kendra and Amashia got hurt, that was really hard for all of us. But. Um, that game just showed so much for us because we had players in foul trouble. We had two players go down, and we still won that game, and we fought through it. Um, and just the togetherness that we had in the locker room after that was so special. And you know, another one that um, I think was pretty memorable was there was one in the beginning of the season. We played SC State at home, and one it was a very close game, one like with a minute to go. And um, I thought it was really it was a really good start to um, the whole new coaching staff, and um, it showed all the potential of our team, and and we grew from that for sure. Serious question: How many of you guys had heard of Wofford before they started recruiting you? <laughs> now, how many of you are glad that you know what Wofford is? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And why is that? I think Wofford's a very special place. Um, I always wanted to go to a big school and never thought about going to a little school. But when I came here and realized how much of a community and a family um, it is, even with the students outside and people are in your classes and they come and support you at your games and faculty and staff and everyone really is here to support you and get you through your four years and make sure you have a great experience. So I think that's a great part about Wofford. Yeah, I agree with what Sarah said. Uh, I thought I was always going to go to a big school. Um, I grew up knowing what Wofford was a little bit, but I don't think I ever could have dreamt of being a part of the basketball program here and meeting everybody sitting around me. Uh, like she said, it's just a small community, uh, everybody's family. Um, so it definitely is it's home for me now. Uh, and I'm extremely blessed to be able to sit here with these people today. Yeah, I think because of like how small of a community it is that you get opportunities to have friends and relationships outside of your sport, like me and Sarah are roommates, but we have two other roommates who aren't um, athletes. So I think that's pretty cool. I think the special thing about Wofford is you get, obviously we've had great athletic experiences here, but Wofford brings so much more than just that. And I know like I really enjoyed that. And even if it weren't for basketball, I would still be happy at Wofford. Now, when people, when you tell people that you play basketball at Wofford and they respond that they may not know what it is, how do you react to that? Tell them what. Uh, four NCAA tournaments in the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just being uh, all the way out in Colorado, uh, like earlier in my career, like people didn't know like what Wofford was or where it was at or this and that, but I think uh, it's starting to uh, reach out to out west and because uh, now people out in Colorado know what Wofford is and uh, it's starting to gain some popularity. Speaking, speaking of, a lot of you are from different locations. How do you think that this program has brought people from different backgrounds together? 
I mean, I think it's just really like a really great opportunity, you know, the academics that Wofford has here and how much they have to offer. Um, and they have really great programs as well, like men's basketball. They've been doing really well these past few years. So I think that's just like a total package and I don't think you can get anything better than that. On a lighter note, uh, Ryan, I heard that you've become known for your charging. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but Maria, can you show us an example of charging? Um, right now, you want me to get up and? That would be great. <laughs> okay. Well, right, right. Um. Well, my charges aren't probably the best form, so um, not even I'm close. Kind of putting my hands out and just like falling back <laughs> without getting hit. Falling back. I think it needs um, some work. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> not too good at form. <laughs> so, guys, you have a tradition on the road called snack time. Can you kind of explain that to us for those of us who aren't familiar with that and what maybe your snack choice is? Uh, snack time is kind of a little incentive for winning on the road. So when we win, we always go to the, to the gas station, nearest gas station, and or whatever, and everybody picks out a snack, a snack and a drink. My favorite is M and M's and whatever. I get to drink water, Gatorade, or whatever. And sometimes if we win two times on a row, we go double snack time. So that's pretty special. Yeah, too. when we won at Mercer and then the Citadel, we had double snack time, and we each got two snacks and two drinks. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I normally just get some sort of candy, like Skittles is my normal go-to, and then a coffee because I'm normally tired after the game. That's a good combination. Skittles yeah. and coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually get uh, Sour Patch because that's my favorite candy, and then. Uh, like vitamin water. I'm kind of boring with snack time, but... Um, yeah, you're really boring. So that's <laughs> well, it's no secret that the student section can get kind of crazy sometimes. Do you guys have any favorite fan moments? Anything that stood out to you at any game? I think that Drew Copeland at all of our games has got to be my favorite. Um, I know at the men's games, he'll stand up on the railing over top and like kind of lean over the bench, but he comes to every single game. He does an amazing job um, getting other students to come to our games, and is just the loudest one in the room, except for Grayson's dad. But <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of parents, a lot of your parents come to every single game. What is that like? Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little bit more different for me just because my dad, he's been at every single one of my college basketball games uh, since I started playing. Um, he's driving 11 and a half, 12 hours um, every single game, and that's only for the home games, and it's normally a little bit further for the road games. But, I mean, I really can't put into words what I really owe him. He's, he's had a truck now for two years. He got it after my sit-out year two years ago, and he has over 100,000 miles on the truck already. So, I mean, just the amount of time that he puts into watching me play basketball, I, I don't think I can ever thank him enough for it. That's awesome. Well, I don't know if any of you can beat that, but do you have any like funny moments from your parents, from them coming to your games? My dad really likes to yell at the refs a lot. And uh, <laughs> for Christmas, my mom got him like a little stress ref, so it was kind of a stress ball in the shape of a referee. And so he named him Harvey after some ref he used to know, and he brings it to like every game now. And there was one game this year, um, I think they called a foul on me, but I wasn't in the play, and he got up from his chair, walked down, <laughs> almost on the court. Like, I didn't know they'd called it on me until I saw my dad right behind Coach Garrity, and uh, that was probably the funniest moment for that one. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I know a lot of you guys do something outside of basketball on campus. Sarah Trainer, I think you're the president of SAC, is that right? Yeah, I'm the co-president. Um, tell us a little bit about what that's like. Um, it's been an amazing opportunity. I love SAC. Uh, we do a lot of community service and um, do a lot of events for student athletes and kind of try and create an atmosphere where you can get to know people outside of your sport and get to know the other student athletes on campus because there's a lot of amazing um, people here. So it's been great. Um, it's taught me a lot, taught me a lot of patience, taught me a lot of organizational skills, but I think it's been a great experience. Um, I've gotten to know most of the student athletes on campus throughout the last three years and I think it's been amazing. So do any of you guys have favorite quotes or sayings that your coaches or teammates say to you? At the end of every halftime, Coach Garrity will like look at the clock and tell us we have two minutes to do whatever we need to do to get our mess right every game. <laughs> he says it the same way every time. Yes. Like, it never changes. What's one memory that you guys think you'll all take with you after Wofford? Hmm. I think just the people sitting here today, um, my teammates, the guys that we've been with for four years and definitely our coaches and our friends outside of basketball, just the relationships that we've made with them and the support system that they've created for us has just been something that I'll never be able to forget.